What's up everyone, Phil Sinovitz here with iOSVlog.com and today we're going to be jailbreaking iOS 6.1 on non-A5 and A6 devices. So anything that's A4 and below, meaning the iPod Touch 4th generation and basically everything before the iPhone 4S and the S that includes the iPhone 4 which is able to be jailbroken on iOS 6.1 Beta 1. So if you have a developer's account, then you can jailbreak your iOS 6.1 one very easily using red snow now all the download links will be down in the description below what you'll need is your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad or whatever device you're using firmware 6.0 red snow has not been updated for 6.1 yet but this will work as long as you have the older 6.0 firmware which red snow can already read so even though you're using 6.1 you're going to be using the 6.0 firmware to jailbreak your device. So let's go ahead and open up Red Snow, which is the other thing you need, and we'll open it up right here. Of course, allow connection, and Red Snow is open. So let's go ahead and move it over. So now we're going to go into the extras over here, and we'll select the IPSW, which you can find in this neat little folder right here after you've downloaded it. And be sure that it's for your specific device, meaning if you're using an iPod, download the firmware for the iPod. If it's an iPhone, download the 6.0 firmware for the iPhone. So let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, it's been successfully identified. Press OK. And now we want to go back tap jailbreak over here it'll process the kernel and after this we can choose to install Cydia and enable battery percentage don't choose install custom bundle just go ahead and choose those two right there Cydia and battery percentage then we're gonna go ahead and hit next now we're gonna go ahead and go into DFU mode so you can either follow the directions on the screen using red snow or you can follow my directions this is how I always do it so let's go ahead and turn our device off we're just gonna go ahead and hold down the power button at the top and wait for the slide to power off right there put it down and wait for it to power off real fast make sure that it is plugged in and connected to your computer and that your computer could read it before you turned it off and it's still turning off right now it's gonna take a second let's go iPod touch fourth generation a little bit faster to turn off please and there we go so as you can see red snow now allows you to hit next so we're gonna hit next and be ready to hold down the power and the home button but first we're gonna go ahead and hold down the power button for three seconds after we hit next so hit next on red snow and hold down the power button for three seconds then go ahead and not release the power button but hold down the home button for 10 seconds and then we're going to release the power button, but not the home button this time. So release the power button, and we'll wait a few seconds. And Red Snow will read our iDevice right here. There we go, exploiting with Lime Rain. And it's going to do its thing, and you'll be able to see everything on the device. Now, guys, remember that this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that every single time your device shuts off or loses battery completely, you're going to have to run to a computer and quickly boot tethered. It's kind of a hassle if you don't have a computer near you all the time, but you can go ahead and just plug it in and then boot tethered. I'll show you guys how to do that because we're not done with the jailbreak. We're going to have to boot tethered ourselves to complete the jailbreak and be able to use Cydia within our iDevice. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now this is the spot where you guys just sit back, grab a coffee from the kitchen, and watch your iDevice jailbreak itself. So I'll be right back to boot tethered with you guys. I'm going to speed up the video just because you don't have to do anything right here. You don't have to press anything. You don't have to tap anything or anything like that. Just let your device run now. So now that the device is back on, all we have to do now is go into Red Snow one more time and move it over over here. Go into the extras, we'll find our IPSW one more time. And there it is. Open it up. And it was successfully identified. And then we're going to go to Just Boot. Then we're going to go back into DFU mode. I'm going to do it a little bit quicker over here, holding down both buttons. And then letting go when the screen shuts off. So there we go, and then letting go of the power button, but still holding the home button right now 
waiting for Red Snow to recognize my device. There we go, and now it's patching files, doing its thing. You guys can once again sit back and relax, wait for your device to turn back on, and then when it's back on, Cydia should be on there and working, and you guys can start downloading your tweaks themes and other things but remember that this is a tethered jailbreak so if your device ever shuts off run back to your computer you don't have to run but next time you're near your computer just go ahead and do this process this is called tethered booting and you'll be able to use your device as you would before so there we go there's the pawn apple that means that we're booting tethered right now and we're successfully jailbroken it should be on in just a second And there we have it. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock. Come on. No iPod. Slide to unlock. And we should see Cydia right there. And it's going to ask us user, hacker, developer. We're going to choose user. And of course, it's going to do its thing. There we go. Cydia running on iOS 6.1 beta 1 right here. So guys, hopefully you had a successful jailbreak. Please be sure to check out iOSblog.com for all of your latest iOS and jailbreak news. Also, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the video for more jailbreak stuff and iOS news in general. iOS videos, iPad mini coming up tomorrow along with the new fourth generation iPad. And be sure to check out Twitter, Google+, Instagram, and Facebook down in the description below as well. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our newsletter where we send out emails every day of all of the latest iOS news also in the description below thank you all for watching and being awesome viewers and i will see you all in the next one